People have asked this good question of how do you actually win with AI? How do you succeed? How do you make money, et cetera? So we're mining for intelligence here at our AI lab, InterSignal. And it's kind of like mining for crypto where you're looking for the solution to a block. But in our case, we're applying computing power to just find solutions to some of our investing and business strategy questions and some longer range stuff related to uh, space technology. So these things, in some cases, it'll work overnight and then we have finished results in the morning. In other cases, we use AIs that are essentially instant, like an offline version of GPT or Google Gemini. And so you're getting this intelligence output, you're getting ideas that you would never get unless you had full-time access to like a, a very high-end you know, Ivy League professor in your field, which none of us have access to, at least I don't. You know, the few mentors I have are very busy people, and I wouldn't want to run every little idea I have past them. Yet you can do that with an AI. There's no limit. Uh, the limit is just how much hardware you've, you know, applied. And so people saying, how do you win? It's kind of like you can get a royal flush. Every once in a while, these machines will spit out something so good, either an invention or a new way of running your business, or even just a new approach to your ad campaigns online or something, something you would have never thought of in 100 years. And again, I call that the royal flush or you get a great document that becomes the premise for a book or a movie. That's the level of stuff that's coming out of these local machines, which is why I'm convinced this is not a bubble. This is, a, as I keep saying, a hundred or a thousand times more significant than crypto. Not a bubble, something genuinely new, where when you apply it properly, you see a surplus. Not necessarily a surplus of money, but a surplus of strategy and a surplus of insight which is one of the major things that people pay for in this world. You look at all the money that consulting firms like McKinsey make. Huge companies just want to be told what to do. And here you've got this system, you know, diversity of systems that can, get bit, that can begin to tell you what to do. So that's why this is so significant. If you're really interested in all this, watch the last live stream that I did just earlier this morning. Go ahead and watch that. It was like 15 or 20 minutes long. I go into how the hardware is shifting also. How do we know this? Well, in part, we asked AI. What kind of hardware upgrades would you need to function better? And then we surveyed, you know, surveyed the tech industry to see are there any companies actually testing and building the kind of chips that AI will need? And so that was, you know, that's how we came across GSI originally. And they're working on associative processing units. This is like Star Trek stuff. You got chips designed to run AI specifically, and much like the rise of ASIC chips in the Bitcoin mining era. I think once we get application specific chips for different AI programs or for AI itself is when you see the crazy improvements in speed and intelligence.